and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some teamer mid range. Uh, that's why I'm kind of rebranding this deck. This is a deck that we've played for a while called uh, that I call Teamer Hydra because it's based around Bioessence Hydra as the the card that we're uh, showcasing. But I'm just going to go with Teamer mid range because you know there are just the three Bioessence Hydras and there's a lot of other things going on in the deck. Um, but let's talk about Bio Essence Hydra. This is a card that I think is it's a very underrated card, just in general. Uh, it's such a big creature, like, all the time for uh, our 5-mana 4-4 four, four Trampler. This is going to be the first time they're going to try it without Kiora. Um, we've, we've always had Kiora in the deck, but kind of wanted to move away from Kiora. So I'm going to try it without Kiora and see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, like, this card is just... It, so... You know, it says it's a 4-4, four, four, but it's really a lot bigger. Because whenever you play it, if you have any Planeswalkers in play, however many loyalty counters, the Bio Essence Hydra gets that many 1-1 counters. And then that second clause that a lot of people don't really understand what this means. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers you control, you put that many on Bio Essence Hydra. So that means if you have a Hydra in play, and then you play a Planeswalker, like a, a Nissa, for example, Nissa enters with 5 counters. So that means Hydra immediately gets 5 counters. So this thing can be very big. We have the, the Chaos Bringers that can give them haste as well. Um, you know, if we curve Chaos Bringer with like five loyalty, we tick up immediately for six. But if it doesn't take damage the next turn, we tick it up again. So it has seven loyalty. Play the Hydra for haste. That's already an 11-11 trample haste. And so it just kills people very quickly. Um, but that's, that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, besides that, we just have, you know, Teamer mid-range deck that's not about elementals <laughs> i know y'all uh, are saying that basically only been seeing uh, elemental versions of teamer around these days but that's not this one we got all four blood suns field of the dead's really annoying so we got all four of them in here uh got some melodies to be able to steal a danto vanguard uh, or just you know be a good card against vampires and then a few other cyborg cards so let's give it a try let's see how teamer mid-range does um and without Kiora. Kiora does pair so well with the Bioessence Hydra, but besides Hydra is a little weak on its own. But we'll, we're going to play some games. We'll see if we miss Kiora. We're playing over in Ranked. As you can see here, we're playing our last couple decks in Ranked. <clears throat> yeah, three mana Chandra. Does, I mean, she can do some things, but this deck doesn't really... Doesn't really take advantage of 3-man Chandra's minus 2 ability. So yeah, oh, Bioessence Hydra plus Year Rock. That does sound pretty fun. I haven't done that. I've always played Cure in this deck before. We're actually, I'm actually taking out Cure though, and trying it without it. We'll see um, See how it does without Kiora. I I took them out for a third Dom. So I had like two three mana Domries, two Kioras. And so we have a third three mana Domri and a Skargan Hellkite instead. Is seeing you, I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. Hmm. All right, I'll just see myself out. There. All right, Rex, take care. Oh, I didn't I didn't really talk about it before, but yeah, we hit another sub goal just a little bit ago. So I didn't didn't uh, say anything about that. I think I just want to get this chaos bringer in here. 
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tick up. I don't really want them to be able to kill the Chaos Bringer. So anyway, so that's sub goal number 17 towards our next 12 hour stream. We do one every 20, so we're only three sub goals away. So if we hit a sub goal uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, which is you know pretty likely. So if we if we do that, then let's. You should quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Go with the crisis for a five five. Then we'll be doing a twelve hour stream this Saturday for our sub battle Saturday, because this Saturday is sub battle Saturday. Yep, so that's that's what we need. So we just need Just to hit our sub to hit our sub goal each day before Saturday, then we're doing twelve hour sub battle Saturday. <laughs> yeah, of course, Samantha. In fact, I, I should probably just say this, or just have it here for. It's sub battle Saturday is always the last Saturday of the month, and this Saturday is the thirty first, so it is the last Saturday of the month. Of course. Don't get to double spell. <laughs> this ain't gonna be one of those quiet riots. I'm gonna wait a turn um, on Vivian. There you go, Matthew. Yep. Well, yeah, even though you won't be there, uh, yeah, team chat. They'll be able to get there. Alright, Hellkite. Hellkite with haste. Interesting. Interesting. I'm starting to get miffed now. So close. That was a bold attack. Oh, I guess I was going to have Domri emblem. I forgot. I just, yeah, I didn't really, th I wasn't even thinking about like the emblem part of Domri, but I guess that's why they were doing that. All right, extra coil. And melodies. All these do sound pretty fun. So like if the battlefield is... Um, stabilized, I like Nissa, but besides that, like Nissa doesn't really line up against like the other creatures. Like making three threes, and the flying creatures are are a big thing too. Like so, having the planeswalkers is kind of rough against flying creatures. I think I'm cutting those, cutting some Nissas, and. <clears throat> A good replacement for Phoenix uh, would probably be like Shifting Ceratops. If you want, yeah, if you want a, a card that's not going to rotate, you'll be playing Shifting Ceratops main. I do think Phoenix, of course, is better, but that's, you know, you're just looking for a replacement. Hmm. I want to play the 61.
Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm going to trim a Hydra with trimming some other Planeswalkers. I guess, but I don't love doing that. Slow hand. Ugh. I was about to start saying that. <laughs> to say that slow hand on the draw, you don't want to see land, turn one land or off. And, Ooh, and that's what our opponent has here. They have the opposite of a slow hand. So, not looking good for us over here. I already have five mana. This is going to be really tough to beat. Needed to mulligan. Not a good hand there. Alright, Arcbow Ranger looks pretty bad, but I think it'll be better on the play. Give me the get this Hydra back in here though. Hmm, no, I like Arcbow Ranger. Yeah, we got Melody instead. Alright, gonna have to yeah, like that's can't keep a hand that you don't do anything until turn three. Especially on the draw. Ugh, can we keep that on the play? We do have Phoenix. Maybe we can try it on the play. This could just go really bad for us again though. But it's just it's just like good mana and good cards, and it's just it's hard to mulligan because of speed. Well Vivian is our worst card to draw. Hey, Doctor. Tuesday was going good until I decided to keep these at bad hands. Ooh, great card to draw. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Slow them down. Cool, yeah, you should check out Kalia on the YouTube channel. Definitely liked that deck. That's a good one. Bleh. Omri's just gonna die to Phoenix. This is really rough. Whenever I kept the three lander with a bunch of four drops, I didn't want to just draw more four drops. What a glorious day for Savannah. I bow to no one. I'm literally just playing Domri as gain four life, I guess. The thing is it's not like like we had to you know, we do have to stay alive. Like, four life is valuable. There's a turn of attacking with the Phoenix. Ugh. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see.
Vivina's looked really bad in, in my hand these two games. Guess I just need to mulligan more. It's like the only decision I could have made differently there was definitely the game two. I need to mulligan that that one. I guess game three also. Especially if I knew that we weren't gonna just draw a land the whole time. We're only gonna drop draw four drops. Hey, Macron. Thanks so much for that donation deck. Okay, so you got a mono black mid range to run in a league. Okay. Quite a bit different from the one we just played. Awesome. Do you have a, a day or time? A day or time slot that you would like there, Macron? Like, do you want to play tomorrow? And if so, what time slot, or is there a different day? Ah, so you're going mono black vampires? Ah. Okay, cool. With a bunch of other good stuff. I like it. It looks, looks really interesting. Here's the list for people who want to see it. What what slot works for you? First, second, third, or fourth? Which spot should I play it? So this time I did mulligan, but we still have nothing to do. But at least I mulliganed. All right, second tomorrow. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't think, I don't think this is really winnable. Feather with infinite defiant, you know, infinite defiant strikes and God's willings. I don't think this is winnable. This so will. Keep playing though. Yeah, Suvi Sak, did you miss the mono black deck for today? It was all right. Wasn't my favorite. I liked the model black control more. Oh yeah, yeah. Feather is definitely just a really tough matchup for creature decks. 
especially when they when they have everything like that. You know, they have feather and God's willing and defiant strike. It's just really difficult. So we can try to race with Hydra. Bios Insider is definitely worse if I just cut all these Planeswalkers, though. But that's the, that's the problem, is I don't want the Planeswalkers. But I want a lot of Planeswalkers with Hydra. It's kind of a problem. Maybe I need to keep Cure in here. That's a... Good Planeswalker to have. I could just not play Melody. Guess I don't play Melody, that is. Ravnica at War is the super secret anti feather tech. Okay. Jess Skywalkers did not do good yesterday. No, the. The holes of the rotation proof deck certainly showed not having Opt or Teferi really, really hurt. Why does everybody just kill my land war off immediately? You call it anarchy. For me, oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Does Honor Guard even do anything? Like Bio Essence Hydra. And that's it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. That would be nice to have a land there and be able to play Phoenix and fight. Oh, please, sir, give me some more. that I recognize is chaos. I do have the ability to kill Domri here by attacking. Yeah, they can sacrifice their Arcanist to kill Domri. Hit harder. Yeah, doesn't always work out how you want. So 
actually casting that. Just for the scry, I guess. Seemed like a waste. But we got a backup now. We should just play something. Could have had negate for that thing. I believe in you, friend. Could have negated that. And this is two games now. You fight dirt. Where we've drawn uh, no lands. Hey Casey. Welcome, welcome. Share in my light. Good news there. Good news there too. I tried my best. It's unbelievable to just just can't draw a single land. But looks like opponent didn't have anything else. Haha. <laughs> that is a nice combo of cards. Good thing I never killed that honor guard. That is a nice combo right there. And hopefully we get to Krasis for four this next turn. Or I may just go Domri or Vivian and hold up. Negate. about to get real rowdy. Alright, so we have a negate, so we should be safe. They shouldn't be able to do lethal to us this turn. Just need to do Krasis for three, keep Negate up, and that's lethal. Alright, I'm assuming those Takali Honor Guards are going right out of their deck. That card was pretty useless. It's definitely good for us, they didn't have any anything better there. Lousy with S like there's a whole a whole bunch of Esper variants at your LGS there, Cody.
Um, okay. Uh, I think best things to be doing against Esper variants. Man, this hand, again, just doesn't do anything until turn three and doesn't stop Feather at all. But it's just like the cards in our deck. All right, trying the mulligan tactic. And it, mulligan tactic is looking okay right now. So I'm thinking Domri because they'll be able to attack Domri. Anyway, against to be, beat Esper decks, you want to be going over the top of them. So you want to be playing like, you know, like ramp decks or or like really big mana decks. Um, you know, like your mass manipulation kind of stuff, or your Golos Nexus, or um, all that kind of stuff. Um, usually, like elementals, like your your Risen Reef value decks that can outgrind them. I don't no, I'm not in I'm not in love with the flash decks. There. I'm not yeah, not in love with the flash decks. Against them. So I'm worried about playing one of my threats here. With Spellbreaker or Phoenix, and then them having removal for my threat, and then having and Warboss taking over. Warboss is not, you know, it's not good, like, heads up against the cards I could have played. But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't have had removal and then made it good. They don't have coil for my Phoenix now. It's basically impossible to eat Feather God's Willing. Anyway, so I'm not playing around God's Willing. I wanted to try to coil it. So this one's over. They have the Feather God's Willing combo. It's like impossible for my deck to beat. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, I need a count. Yeah, a counter spell would would stop. You know, would get rid of the God's Willing. Yeah, if I if I would draw a negate, that would work. This is just game after game where we only have three lands and we don't have anything else.
No, our, our opponent won't tap out. Your light will cleave the darkness. If our opponent has removal for Phoenix, anyway, again, it's going to be really hard to, to win. So, yeah, just not, not playing around it. Again there. Next turn, by playing Vivian and ticking up, that'd be five counters on Hydra. That's game. Infinite Reckless Rage. That's game. Feather's a tough card to beat. That is a tough card to beat. Well, not going so good here so far. Let's play one Kiora. Let's put a Kiora in over the Domri, over like the, having the three Domri's. Let's get a Kiora in here. They can stick around and help us draw a few cards. Potentially, this Hawkeye needs to, needs to go back to being Kiora as well. Another green red deck. Elementals. Just so many lands were so many hands in a row now we're just not drawing any lands. It's rough. So many games. All right, going for the race. We're not winning a long game against Risen Reefs. So I'm going for, um, going for some damage there. Going to try to see what we can do in the air.
Thanks, Grazer. Thanks for letting me know. All right, well, the be very aggressive and try to kill them line is looking pretty good for us right now. Surprised at just complete no block, to be honest. Uh, they're playing Field of the Dead also. Gross. But we got this game. I don't think I Blood Sun just because they have Field of the Dead. Don't think we really necessarily need to do that. Cavalier of Thorns is certainly the card that I'm the most worried about. Or, well, I mean, Yurok also. Yurok, Cavalier of Thorns. Those cards are really hard to get through. They're so big. I think I'm just going to keep this the same, though. I guess Chandra's are, like, not really any good here. Like, the minus... I, well, no, they have zombies. Yeah, let's just keep this the same. Yeah, Omnath is going to be... At least we have... At least Coil deals with Omnath. It's like, we're good there. Keep another hand that doesn't do anything until turn three on the draw. I think we've learned not to do that. Good mulligan. Yeah, Melody is just is just really expensive for Cavalier Thorns, but all right, so I want to... Maybe it's this Domri. Yeah, I guess it's this Domri. Could just get rid of the Spellbreaker. Just try to go turn one, Llanowar, turn two, Anarchobolus, turn three, Chaosbringer, turn four, Awakened Inferno. I probably want the Spellbreaker, though, to go along with the Anarch of Bolus. I guess I should know that I'm not going to draw lands whatsoever, so I should just get rid of the six mana card. I guess I should know that by now. It's rough that I'm not getting the attack in there. But I don't want to, like, attack, and then they can attack my Domri for one and kill it. Because I, I want to play Awakened Inferno next turn. So it's 
It's unfortunate I don't get that five points in, but I think that's worth it to have Chandra next turn. Because Chandra has enough loyalty to be able to minus and get rid of, like, Cavalier of Thorns, especially if we get to tick up, or, you know, Yurok, especially if we get to tick up first and put it to eight, and then before we minus... Yeah, I, I mean, I could have played the, just the, our, you know, could have just played, like, our other land and not tapped the land werewolf and had the land werewolf be able to block, but I, I don't, I don't want to make that block. Yeah, we're playing against a four-color elemental deck with Field of the Dead. I guess they're just not doing anything. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Very good mulligan there switching out our our hand of like playable cards that had just a whole bunch of like three plus cards three plus mana cards to that hand of turn one land or elf deck so much different when you have turn one land or elf that's for sure awesome yeah so yeah that Sultai deck's a lot of fun Sultai has just a lot of good cards right now oh i don't even know uh, Chin, I guess, or Chine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the landfall event yet. Am I going to do that tomorrow morning? Before it goes away? Our opponent's on the play with turn one land of war elf this game. Pretty busted. So do I coil the land war elf or play Paradise Druid? And coiled elf. With me not really having a four mana card to play. I would have gone Druid this past turn. I would have been able to do you know, Druid plus out, plus Coil. But we may have slowed them down also. May have slowed them down quite a bit. So I obviously I can attack and then play Paradise Druid, but yeah, I think they have like cast I think they have like removal. So I'm not even gonna go to attackers and then let them kill my forest, then I don't get to play the Paradise Druid. That three damage isn't that important. Called it. Uh, hasn't hasn't really happened so far, Zedalom. Um, you know, I guess I get through it because I play different decks all the time. You know, I'm playing. You know, I don't. I don't usually play the, the same deck. You. Um, you know, it's like maybe like two or three days later I'll play a deck if I really liked it. But for the most part, I'm not really playing the same deck very often. So, so that's the 
best way to not um, get bored with the format, I suppose, whenever you do it every day like I do. So yeah, let's start with Kiora. Sun in the sky, brine on my skin. Great rise, my elemental friend. The ocean surges, life thrives. Definitely do not want to see removal for this crisis here. Especially how we did not draw anything off of that crisis. You know, we got to draw three cards there with the cure. Did not get anything. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Hmm. I must seek comfort in the land. So do have both the black sources. Go ahead. Beg for more. Oh, time it's to get some battle. battle. That hurts. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? So I like how the Paradise Druid can tussle with their lands now. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. Like, if I attack, if I kill Vraska here, they're likely going to be able to ultimate Nyssa. Maybe I should have just played Phoenix here instead of Domri. Yeah, probably should have just played Phoenix. If I, if I make this attack, though, they get to just tick up, you know, maybe draw a card. If not, then they'll be able to, like, Frasca the next turn and makes my Phoenix a lot worse. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. The land fights for us. I cleared out their blocker, which is what I was doing. You haven't seen the last of me. I'm getting rid of the temple. Of course, they just drew another black source. And we got more lands over here, too, unfortunately. Behold, nature's true power. Come on, deck. Endure. 
Yeah, Paradise Druid was not a good draw. I wonder if it was like after our playing our crisis, you know, we drew three cards and they were just all bricks. This land, we are all I'm taking ten and going to eights. The land fights for us. We need to draw a creature. That's not good enough. We really need, like, Krasis. Not good enough. That's 10 damage coming in. Couldn't quite stabilize. Like, one thing I regret from the game... Honestly, it was just even taking up my Nissa and making a creature that first time they got to cast down that turn. I probably should have just played the, the Nissa and passed. <sighs> hmm. I'm thinking Hellkite's not great against Cast Down, but it does kill Nyssa. Or it can attack Nyssa. Melody's really good against Wild Growth Walker, so we should probably be playing Melody. But I kind of want all these other cards, which is the problem. Soul tie better than Simic. Soul tie you get removal spells, Simic you don't. For the most part, but are you are you talking about like with Flash? I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. You, you must mean with with Flash. And yes, I I like Soul tie Flash more than Simic Flash. You get removal spells. Going with Domri means that we could uh, be able to play other Domri and Spellbreaker next turn. Oh, you just got to be here. Oh, I'll come on. Just got to be here on You'll Saturday. See. And just be in the chat on Saturday. Nothing uh, special. Versus me. Yeah, I, I'm... <clears throat> all, all day on Saturday, I'm just going to be playing against subscribers all day. I think that, that has some... Directions there.
of that anarchy. For me, it's just another day. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. Do not test me. So obviously they get to they can tick up and kill the Domery. Nissa and Massacre Girl don't go very well together. If you're gonna Massacre Girl away the board, but the board is like your lands, it's not very good. Those two cards don't play very well together. Hey, Fairmount. Good evening. Yeah, we still got to finish off Nissa. Will be difficult. Would really like to draw Krasis. Remember how we went through so many games in a row of not finding lands and then last game and this game uh, happen? My attack with Paradise Druid, they just go Breeding Pool and then Chump. I guess if I attack here, then the Nissa dies. If they if they block Paradise Druid on Breeding Pool, Nissa dies. Their only way to not have Nissa die is have Breeding Pool block Spellbreaker. So I'm trading Okay, they're gonna they're gonna make the blocks that keep Nissa alive. Stop. Crisis. This Nissa card is really good. It's impossible to kill with red removal with six loyalty. Yep, game's over. Alright, well, Bioessence Hydra didn't do too well for us this time. 
We only got to play a Bio Essence Hydra one time. Basically never drew that card. That's too bad. That's too bad. Um, I don't know, not too much to say about the deck. I I like the deck. Uh, our, you know, three matches is a course, or four matches, you know, is a pretty small sample. And we just had so much mana troubles the whole time. Like, that's, that's really what a lot of these games were coming down to. Like, we were either getting stuck on two or three lands or, or drawing all sorts of lands. It was just a rough one for us. Um, I don't know if we'll struggle that much against Scape Shift. We got, I got four Blood Suns, and we have some flying creatures. And the thing is, we never got to do anything with Bio Essence Hydra. This card is really powerful. We just never had it. Um, and so, yeah, our deck looked a lot weaker without having one of our most powerful cards. That, you know, it's, a, it's our card that just, you know, it's frequently like a, you know, like a, 9-9, nine, 11-11 nine, 11, 11 creature uh, that just kills people really quickly. But never had it. We played it one game. Ugh. And we are going to attack for 9 with it, but that was a game against Feather and couldn't beat Feather. Okay. Um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, leave comments, all that kind of stuff. But... Thanks for watching Team or Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.